Hello, my name is Beata Fagele uh, and I am happy to greet you all. I am the outgoing co-secretary of the Porvu Contact Group in the Porvu Communion of Churches. I work as a theological advisor in the Church of Norway's Council on Ecumenical and International Relations and for the past nine years or so I have been the co-secretary from the Lutheran Churches. Just recently I gave over that responsibility to Maria Klaasson Sundin from Church of Sweden. It's been a rewarding time with a lot of close collaboration with the Porvu Contact Group members. The Porvu Contact Group consists of a representative from all the churches who have signed the Porvu Communion Agreement. Uh, it's also meant close collaboration with my fellow Anglican co-secretary and of course with the Lutheran and Anglican co-chairs of the Porvu contact group. Being a co-secretary has meant uh, work, meaning preparing and following up Porvu programs, a lot of uh, networking, a lot of communications and information. It's been very rewarding as well as challenging. Among the most rewarding uh, experiences in my time as a co-secretary has been of course feedback from local congregations and dioceses who have had great pleasure in exchange programs, visiting each other, uh, celebrating uh, worship, worshiping and celebrating communion together, uh, experiencing each other's everyday life as churches on a local level. That's nice and good. We, that's what we're all about. Also, experiences and feedback from people who have participated in the Porvo Contact Group's programs have been very nice to hear about. When the two Norwegian participants in the Porvo pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela came back from Portugal and Spain, they were thrilled. It had been a life-changing experience. They were building community among young people from all the Porvu churches in a way that, that really changed their view of other churches and of other cultures. Uh, this was a very nice thing to hear about. Of course, also very interesting and rewarding is some of the results of the consultations. One consultation in Sweden on diaspora and migration, being churches in diaspora uh, or migrant churches in our communities was very interesting. Uh, another one is very recently the Porvo Primus met in Copenhagen and were discussing being church in a secular society. And of course for our churches having different but also similar experiences exchange about that as a theme was very interesting. Those are among the most rewarding experiences I've had, I think. There are challenges, of course, too. Uh, challenges such as social, ethical challenges in society, where churches might disagree on their stand, uh, this is a challenge to the communion, of course, as such. Can we be together in communion? But through consultation between the churches, we have found that these challenges are not necessarily disagreements that go between the churches, but are disagreements within each and every church. Uh, thus, it is not necessarily a challenge to the communion of churches. It is a challenge to us as Christian churches in general. Um, but we're dealing with this and we are consulting on these issues and that is important. Uh, for the Porvo contact group there are challenges of course because the churches have different structures, they have different church orders, they have different decision-making uh, systems uh, and the contact group needs to find ways where we can collaborate across these differences. At the same time as this is a challenge to the contact group it is also a process 
of finding out and getting to know each other better and learning about each other, which is a process that is rewarding as well as challenging. For the future of the Polvo Communion of Churches, I wish that we can continue to, to develop the communion at a local level, that is on a congregational but also, also a diocesan level, that the Porvu communion can be a reality in our church lives, that we continue to pray for each other every Sunday uh, and that we can experience that we are a very closely tied family of churches that we can experience in our local worships that we belong to a wider communion of churches to the church of Jesus Christ universally but also that we have family uh, just across the ocean or just across the border we are at home in each other's churches that we continue to celebrate together that we continue to visit each other and to treat to treat each other's members as our own members and as our fellow sisters and brothers in Christ. <laughs>